So hello everybody, how are you today? It is Friday, so it's time for another DAX Fridays, a new DAX function every single Friday. Now, in today's video, I want to talk about correlation and causation. Um, you know, in previous videos, in the summer videos, I've talked about linear regression, so how one variable can explain the other one. If it follows a line, you know, you can draw the line and predict future values. And I also talk about correlation. And the, the correlation um, coefficient was a coefficient that told us how strong those two variables were related to each other, which is great. So if you are new to statistics, it is very, very important to know that if you are going to you know, look for linear regression, look for um, correlation between two variables, it's very important that you understand that correlation does not mean causation. You've probably heard that a thousand times before if you've done statistics. I don't know if you really truly grasp the concept, so we're going to go through that in here. So, linear regression, very, very quickly, one variable can explain the outcome of the other one. In the video, I talked about how the number of views on the YouTube channel can explain, you can predict, if you know the number of views, you can predict the number of subscribers. And we did a correlation video where we saw that the correlation between those two was very, very strong. Now, the question is, does one cause the other, or is just a random relationship? Here's the thing. When you find correlation, there are a few things that can happen. Number one is, the fact is that views, one variable, can predict the other one, can predict the number of subscribers. A causes B. Okay, so that's one outcome. Then another outcome is that Z, something, another variable altogether, causes A and B, and then those two seem to be correlated, that like cause one another. Why, in fact, that's not the one is a third variable that is causing that. I'm going to give you an example. So that is another one. And the next one, the third possibility is that there is no relationship whatsoever in, in real life. So there is no correlation or no causation. The only reason why those two are correlated is by chance. And they are called spurious correlationship. We'll talk about that too. Okay, so every time I think about correlation or causation, I think about the same example. It just got into my mind because I thought it was a funny one. And it is how ice creams are the biggest killers in Australia and places where they have sharks, basically. So they proved that the number, as the number of uh, sales of ice creams increase, the number of shark attacks increases too. And as the number of ice creams decrease, the number of shark attacks decreases too. Okay? So one of the number one killers in Australia, it is ice creams. Okay, so if you actually would grab the data, you will see that it is true. There is correlation and the correlation is strong. It's very, very strong. But does one causes the other? You might think about it like, mm, maybe not. How can an ice cream kill? That have to do with sharks. I mean, it's just, it's just so bizarre. Well, this is an example where a third variable actually explains the apparent relationship between these two. So you would see if you would plot the you know number of shark attacks in the different seasons of the year that on summer you get more shark attacks and in winter you get less and on summer guess what you get more ice cream sales than in winter so suddenly there is something else that is seemingly related to these two and is the weather so the weather will cause the ice cream sales to go up and also shark attacks go up just because people are bathing more, okay? So it makes sense. There is a third variable, which is sun, which is heat, or weather that is causing those two to seemingly be correlated or causing one, they are correlated, but 
the one is not directly causing the other one, it's just the sun that is doing that, okay? Now, when it comes to the third one, that it was like spurious correlationships, you know, there are no relationship whatsoever between them, but you can see that there is a correlation. I mean, the correlation is there, but the causation is not there, it's just random. There is actually a web page that talks about spurious correlationships. But I think it's actually great. It says here, US spending on science correlates with suicide by hanging. And the correlation is 99.79%. So they are very, very strong correlated, but they do not cost each other, obviously. The number of people who drown by failing into a pool correlates with Nicolas Cage appearing in movies. And it's a 66% correlation, believe it or not. And, you know, the site goes on and on about two variables that are strongly correlated with each other, but one does not cause the other. Spurious correlationship. Okay, so now you've done some work. You find two variables that are correlated. There are strong correlation between them. How do you know there is causation? And that is a very, 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 very hard thing to do. And you need to be very, very careful when you're doing it. Okay? So... I'm going to try to explain the best I can. We go back to the sharks and ice cream example. And uh, the best way to prove correlation is to do A-B testing. And A-B testing is just to pick random samples and to try to prove what you're, what you're seeing in your data. And the best way to actually do that is if you can, if it's possible, to remove one of the variables to see if there are changes once that variable is removed. For example, you are the mayor of a city in Australia where you have a lot of shark attacks and you got this report that says ice creams cause shark attacks. So what do you do? You forbid ice creams on the beaches to say no ice creams. And then you measure the number of shark attacks. If the number of shark attacks would, would probably stay the same, then you know that there is no causation. There is still a correlation, but it's no causation. So ice creams do not cause shark attacks. Okay? So that is a, a way to do it if you are able to remove one of the variables. It's not always the case. But now I think that like this, when I was thinking about the case, I was like, oh, but maybe if you remove ice creams for the beach, maybe the people will go to other beaches, you know, because they like to bathe and have ice cream. So you might see that the number of shark attacks actually decreases because you remove the ice cream. But still, it's not the ice cream that is causing the shark attacks. You know what I mean? So proving causation is a very, very, very hard thing to do and you need to be very, very, very careful, okay? So I hope this video is useful. I, I saw from the comments on the other videos that you are already giving it a go. Definitely give it a go, but make sure you understand the difference between correlation and causation and make, make sure that you can actually prove there is one variable is causing the other one, okay? So this is all for today. Next video on DAX Fridays will be a DAX video. How about that? So until then, enjoy your weekend, enjoy your holidays if you're still on holidays, and I'll see you again as always on Monday. Take care. Bye-bye.